If you can't figure out how to land a software development job or how to find freelance clients or how to technically build your own software product, the problem is you don't believe you are the person who can do that yet. I know this is true because after I finished my computer science degree, I spent a whole summer applying to jobs, seven different jobs, and failed horribly at all of them. And it wasn't until the eighth one I actually got a role just really through, through numbers and just through luck. The reason I failed at all those jobs was because I didn't yet believe I was somebody who could get paid for writing software. I'd done all this complicated maths and graphics and hardware stuff in the computer science degree, but to be honest, what I learned there was very different from what you need in a software development job. And I just didn't believe that I had the skills yet to do that. I didn't come across as confident in the interview. Actually, when I landed the job and I started to get paid and I got that belief that I was now a software developer, landing the next jobs became a lot easier. This is what I'm saying is until you can trick your mind that you are that person that's getting that result that you want. You are a developer that can build a full stack web application, including that sexy front end and that back end and that NoSQL database. You are a developer who can do that, or, or maybe you already can do that, but you need to prove to yourself that you're a developer who can actually attract people who want to use your product and exchange money for it. Or maybe you've been working in a job for many years, but you don't believe you have the skills to go out and find your own clients through freelance work. This is all a, a belief thing and you need to trick your mind to realize that you actually can be that person. One way I've figured out how to do this is to basically take the smallest actions that you can to almost pretend that you are that person in advance. For the longest time, I've wanted to be able to travel the world, do the software development work I like, build my own projects. And that just wasn't happening. I was working a software development job for 13 years. And although I was taking time off between jobs to go traveling, I just wasn't able to combine the two things together. And now I'm figuring out how to do that by taking action that's in line with with that kind of identity of the, the independent globe-trotting software developer, whatever. So obviously I'm here in an airport right now and I've just spent one week working in the Canary Islands to really try to cement that identity for myself because actually I haven't been traveling much this year and I want to trick my mind to believing that I can continue working effectively when I'm away from my home office and I can travel the world and still build the projects that I'm building. So that's a small example from what I'm doing right now. If you wanted, for example, to build your own SaaS products, you kind of have this feeling that there's gonna be some magic moment or someone that gives you permission to start building a product or there's gonna be like one tutorial that you watch on YouTube where suddenly everything's gonna make sense and you'll be like a pro React developer or something. That's just not gonna happen. All you can do is set your mind to do a tiny thing that somebody that builds their own software might do. And that tiny thing might be adding a text box onto a web page that looks good and has a nice border and rounded corners, whatever. Maybe that, that could be like the step one because that's an important part of some problem that you'd like to solve with software. And once you start taking steps in alignment with that identity, things start to fall into place, even if those steps are small. For the longest time, I wanted also to be able to create videos on YouTube. I was watching all of these creators on YouTube and thinking, ah, I'm just one of those shy software developers who's never gonna be able to share his ideas on the internet effectively. I'm just too introverted and awkward on the camera. I could have just left it at that. I kind of quit that goal for a year and then eventually I went back to it and just started making the simplest videos that I could make based on my current skill set. So I was making tutorials about software development because that was the thing that I was doing on my day-to-day -day work. As I was making one video a week, I started to fall into that identity of being somebody that makes videos, somebody that is confident enough to share their ideas or their knowledge in a video, especially if you can continue taking that action on a consistent basis. It's not just a one-time thing. It's not just, I landed one freelance client, 
Therefore, that's my ad identity as a freelance developer solidified, and I'm just going to be able to land any freelance clients whenever I want. That's not the case. Once you take a small action or you have a small success, you need to double down on that. Because if you don't, you're going to revert back to that previous identity that was full of, of fear or, or not having enough belief that you couldn't do that thing. Even today, I, I know that's the case and I'm making a series of 10 videos right now. One video every day for 10 days. Just because I know that I want my identity to be somebody that's not afraid to share their ideas on the internet. For me, all of these kind of identities, if you want to call them that, are important for my goal of being able to travel the world and build projects that I actually care about. Final thought for you, whatever identity you want to move into, you've got a choice of forever staying with the, the fixed identity you have right now that you kind of want to move away from, but you've got this fear. Or you can take that action to move towards that new identity to trick yourself that you are that person until you actually become that person. That's going to be a bit scary. It might involve you learning new skills that feel hard or speaking to people that you don't normally speak to and being a bit awkward or getting a camera out in an airport. By the fact that it's a new identity that you're adopting, it by default is gonna be hard. That's just part of the process. So I think you know what the right choice is and I wish you all the best with that. See you in the next one.